Worksheet 25. Exercise 1. Substitution. Mark the form of have used in each sentence. Number 1. She's having a cup of coffee. 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 Number 2. She had a cup of coffee. 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 Number 3. She didn't have a cup of coffee. 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 Number four. She doesn't usually have a cup of coffee. 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 Number five. Isn't she having a cup of coffee? 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 Number six. Are they going to have a cup of coffee? Are they going to have a cup of coffee? Are they going to have a cup of coffee? Are they going to have a cup of coffee? Exercise 2. Substitution. Write the first two words of each sentence. Number 1. He's going to Tokyo on business. 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 Number 2. Is he going to Tokyo on business? 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 Number three. Does he go to Tokyo on business? 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 Number four. Do they go to Tokyo on business? 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 Number five. They go to Tokyo on business. 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 Number six. They went to Tokyo on business. 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 Exercise three. Substitution. Number one. There was a visitor in the office. 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 Number two. There are going to be some visitors in the office. There are going to be some visitors in the office. There are going to be some visitors in the office. There are going to be some visitors in the office. Number three. There's going to be a visitor in the office. There's going to be a visitor in the office. There's going to be a visitor in the office. There's going to be a visitor in the office. Number four. There aren't going to be any visitors in the office. There aren't going to be any visitors in the office. There aren't going to be any visitors in the office. There aren't going to be any visitors in the office. Number five. There were some visitors in the office. 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 Number six. There's some visitors in the office. 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 Exercise four. Two word verbs. Write the second sentence of each sentence pair. Number one. Mrs. Humphrey put off her dental appointment. She put it off. Mrs. Humphrey put off her dental appointment. She put it off. Mrs. Humphrey put off her dental appointment. She put it off. Mrs. Humphrey put off her dental appointment. She put it off. Number two. Mr. Rivers got over his cold. He got over it. Mr. Rivers got over his cold. He got over it. Mr. Rivers got over his cold. He got over it. Mr. Rivers got over his cold. He got over it. Number three. Mrs. Harrison got back her money. She got it back. Mrs. Harrison got back her money. She got it back. Mrs. Harrison got back her money. She got it back. Mrs. Harrison got back her money. She got it back. Number four. Mrs. Jones tried on the dress. She tried it on. Mrs. Jones tried on the dress. She tried it on. Mrs. Jones tried on the dress. She tried it on. Mrs. Jones tried on the dress. She tried it on. Number five. Mr. Black got through with his work. He got through with it. Mr. Black got through with his work. He got through with it. Mr. Black got through with his work. He got through with it. Mr. Black got through with his work. He got through with it. Number six. Charles worked out the crossword puzzle. He worked it out. Charles worked out the crossword puzzle. He worked it out. Charles worked out the crossword puzzle. He worked it out. Charles worked out the crossword puzzle. He worked it out. Number seven. Mrs. O'Brien found out the price. She found it out. Mrs. O'Brien found out the price. She found it out. Mrs. O'Brien found out the price. She found it out. 
Mrs. O'Brien found out the price. She found it out. Number eight. Susan got rid of the mistakes. She got rid of them. Susan got rid of the mistakes. She got rid of them. Susan got rid of the mistakes. She got rid of them. Susan got rid of the mistakes. She got rid of them. Number nine. Mike heated up the room. He heated it up. Mike heated up the room. He heated it up. Mike heated up the room. He heated it up. Mike heated up the room. He heated it up. End of worksheet twenty five. Worksheet twenty six. Exercise one. Two word verbs. Write the second word for each two word verb. Mr. Collins had dinner with a business associate downtown yesterday evening, so he didn't get home until eleven o'clock. First, he took off his coat in the hall and hung it up in the closet. Then he took off his shoes and put on his slippers. Next, he went into the living room and turned on the light. Then he took his glasses out of his breast pocket and put them on. After that, he picked up the evening paper and sat down. The news wasn't interesting, so he put down the paper and put his glasses back in his pocket. Finally, he turned off the light and went upstairs to bed. He tried not to make any noise because he didn't want to wake up his wife. Mr. Collins had dinner with a business associate downtown yesterday evening, so he didn't get home until eleven o'clock. First, he took off his coat in the hall and hung it up in the closet. Then he took off his shoes and put on his slippers. Next, he went into the living room and turned on the light. Then he took his glasses out of his breast pocket and put them on. After that, he picked up the evening paper and sat down. The news wasn't interesting, so he put down the paper and put his glasses back in his pocket. Finally, he turned off the light and went upstairs to bed. He tried not to make any noise because he didn't want to wake up his wife. Exercise two: stressed words. Write the word or words stressed in each line. Number one: What did Mrs. O'Brien find out? She found out the price. What did Mrs. O'Brien find out? She found out the price. What did Mrs. O'Brien find out? She found out the price. What did Mrs. O'Brien find out? She found out the price. Number two, why did Mike heat up the room? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe he had a cold. Why did Mike heat up the room? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe he had a cold. Why did Mike heat up the room? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe he had a cold. Why did Mike heat up the room? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe he had a cold. Number three, is the class over? No, it's still going on. Is the class over? No, it's still going on. Is the class over? No, it's still going on. Is the class over? No, it's still going on. Number four, is your father in? No, he's out. 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 Exercise three. Intonation. Write the words on which the intonation rises or falls. For example, you hear. Is the heating on or off? You write. With the rising arrow on, with the falling arrow off. Number one, is the doctor in or out? 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 Number two. Is the tennis match over or is it still going on? Is the tennis match over or is it still going on? Is the tennis match over or is it still going on? Is the tennis match over or is it still going on? Number three, is the gas on or off? 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 Number four, is the water running or is it off? 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 End of worksheet twenty six. Worksheet twenty seven. Exercise one. Two word verbs. Write the second sentence of each sentence pair. Number one. Mrs. Humphrey called up the dentist. She called him up. Mrs. Humphrey called up the dentist. She called him up. Mrs. Humphrey called up the dentist. She called him up. Mrs. Humphrey called up the dentist. She called him up. Number two, Mr. Rivers gave up smoking. He gave it up. Mr. Rivers gave up smoking. He gave it up. Mr. Rivers gave up smoking. He gave it up. 
Mr. Rivers gave up smoking. He gave it up. Number three. Mrs. Harrison took back the purchase. She took it back. Mrs. Harrison took back the purchase. She took it back. Mrs. Harrison took back the purchase. She took it back. Mrs. Harrison took back the purchase. She took it back. Number four. Mrs. Jones went into the dressing room. She went into it. Mrs. Jones went into the dressing room. She went into it. Mrs. Jones went into the dressing room. She went into it. Mrs. Jones went into the dressing room. She went into it. Number five. Mr. Black put away his tools. He put them away. Mr. Black put away his tools. He put them away. Mr. Black put away his tools. He put them away. Mr. Black put away his tools. He put them away. Number six. Charles looked up the words in the dictionary. He looked them up. Charles looked up the words in the dictionary. He looked them up. Charles looked up the words in the dictionary. He looked them up. Charles looked up the words in the dictionary. He looked them up. Number seven. Mrs. O'Brien sent for a catalog. She sent for one. Mrs. O'Brien sent for a catalog. She sent for one. Mrs. O'Brien sent for a catalog. She sent for one. Mrs. O'Brien sent for a catalog. She sent for one. Number eight. Susan typed the letter over. She typed it over. Susan typed the letter over. She typed it over. Susan typed the letter over. She typed it over. Susan typed the letter over. She typed it over. Number nine. Mike turned on the gas heater. He turned it on. Mike turned on the gas heater. He turned it on. Mike turned on the gas heater. He turned it on. Mike turned on the gas heater. He turned it on. Exercise two. Stressed words. Write the word or words stressed in each line. Number one. Did Mr. Rivers give up smoking last month? I think he gave it up the month before last. Did Mr. Rivers give up smoking last month? I think he gave it up the month before last. Did Mr. Rivers give up smoking last month? I think he gave it up the month before last. Did Mr. Rivers give up smoking last month? I think he gave it up the month before last. Number two. Did Susan type the letter over this afternoon? I think she typed it over yesterday afternoon. Did Susan type the letter over this afternoon? I think she typed it over yesterday afternoon. Did Susan type the letter over this afternoon? I think she typed it over yesterday afternoon. Did Susan type the letter over this afternoon? I think she typed it over yesterday afternoon. Number three. I woke up the kids. Who did you wake up? The children. When did you wake them up? Just now. I woke up the kids. Who did you wake up? The children. When did you wake them up? Just now. I woke up the kids. Who did you wake up? The children. When did you wake them up? Just now. I woke up the kids. Who did you wake up? The children. When did you wake them up? Just now. Exercise three. Conversations. Number one. I made a mistake, so I had to correct it. That's too bad. I made a mistake, so I had to correct it. That's too bad. I made a mistake, so I had to correct it. That's too bad. I made a mistake, so I had to correct it. That's too bad. Number two. I trained hard, so I became the champion. That's good. I trained hard, so I became the champion. That's good. I trained hard, so I became the champion. That's good. I trained hard, so I became the champion. That's good. Number three. You know what I did last Monday? I bought a personal computer. Why do you need a personal computer? For my business. You know what I did last Monday? I bought a personal computer. Why do you need a personal computer? For my business. You know what I did last Monday? I bought a personal computer. Why did you need a personal computer? For my business. You know what I did last Monday? I bought a personal computer. Why do you need a personal computer? For my business. Number four. I wanted to go for a drive with my family, but I couldn't. Why not? The car broke down. I wanted to go for a drive with my family, but I couldn't. Why not? The car broke down. I wanted to go for a drive with my family, but I couldn't. Why not? The car broke down. I wanted to go for a drive with my family, but I couldn't. Why not? The car broke down. Number five. I'd like to travel, but I can't. Why not? I don't have enough money. I'd like to travel, but I can't. Why not? I don't have enough money. I'd like to travel, but I can't. Why not? I don't have enough money. I'd like to travel, but I can't. Why not? I don't have enough money. End of worksheet 27. Worksheet 28. Exercise 1. Tenses. Write the words preceding call on. Number 1. Did he call on his cousin? 
Did he call on his cousin? Did he call on his cousin? Did he call on his cousin? Number two. Does she call on her cousin? 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 Number three. Did you call on your cousin? 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 Number four. Does he call on his cousin? 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 Number five. Do you call on your cousin? 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 Number six. Did she call on her cousin? 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 Exercise two. Two word verbs. Write the second word for each two word verb. Number one. He left his lunchbox behind. 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 Number two. He put his books away. 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 Number three. Is he going to try his new suit on? Is he going to try his new suit on? Is he going to try his new suit on? Is he going to try his new suit on? Number four. He paid for the gas yesterday. 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 Number five. Mrs. Jones is turning off the gas now. 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 Number six. We're going to turn on the TV later. 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 Number seven. He didn't get rid of those magazines yesterday. 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 Number eight. She threw away those magazines. 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 Exercise three. Stressed words. Write the word or words stressed in each line. Number one. She gave away the money because she was generous. Why did she give it away? She was generous. And when did she give it away? She gave away the money because she was generous. Why did she give it away? She was generous. And when did she give it away? She gave away the money because she was generous. Why did she give it away? She was generous. And when did she give it away? She gave away the money because she was generous. Why did she give it away? She was generous. And when did she give it away? Number two. What time did Mr. Black get through with his work? I don't know. Maybe around five. What time did Mr. Black get through with his work? I don't know. Maybe around five. What time did Mr. Black get through with his work? I don't know. Maybe around five. What time did Mr. Black get through with his work? I don't know. Maybe around five. Exercise four. Sequences. Write the first word or two in each sentence. I'm going to go to Europe. Number one. First, I'm going to get a passport. 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 Number two. Then I'm going to go to a travel agency. Then I'm going to go to a travel agency. Then I'm going to go to a travel agency. Then I'm going to go to a travel agency. Number three. Next, I'm going to make a reservation. 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 Number four. After that, I'm going to buy my ticket. 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 Number five. Finally, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. Finally, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. Finally, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. Finally, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. To to my friends. End of worksheet 28. Worksheet 29. Exercise 1. Substitution. Number one. I have to see the boss about some business. I have to see the boss about some business. I have to see the boss about some business. I have to see the boss about some business. Number two. I have to talk to my secretary about an appointment. I have to talk to my secretary about an appointment. I have to talk to my secretary about an appointment. I have to talk to my secretary about an appointment. Number three. I have to consult the staff about the report. I have to consult the staff about the report. 
I have to consult the staff about the report. I have to consult the staff about the report. Exercise 2. Reduced forms. Number 1. I can call up the cafeteria. 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 Number 2. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Number 3. I can't call up the store. 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 Number 4. I can go over to the drugstore. 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 Number 5. I can call up the bank. 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 Exercise 3. Conversations. Number 1. There was a party last night. Yes. That's why the students are sleepy. There was a party last night. Yes. That's why the students are sleepy. There was a party last night. Yes. That's why the students are sleepy. There was a party last night. Yes. That's why the students are sleepy. Number 2. They enjoyed the picnic. Yes. That's because it was a beautiful day. They enjoyed the picnic. Yes. That's because it was a beautiful day. They enjoyed the picnic. Yes, that's because it was a beautiful day. They enjoyed the picnic. Yes, that's because it was a beautiful day. Number three. Who took the records out of the cabinet? I did. So that's why I couldn't find them. Who took the records out of the cabinet? I did. So that's why I couldn't find them. Who took the records out of the cabinet? I did. So that's why I couldn't find them. Who took the records out of the cabinet? I did. So that's why I couldn't find them. End of worksheet 29. Worksheet 30. Exercise 1. Two-word verbs. You hear? I decided to stop smoking. I decided to give it up. You write? Give it up. You hear? I didn't visit them. I didn't call on them. You write? Call on them. Number 1. I'm going to postpone my dental appointment. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to postpone my dental appointment. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to postpone my dental appointment. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to postpone my dental appointment. I'm going to put it off. Number two. I want to solve this math problem. I want to work it out. I want to solve this math problem. I want to work it out. I want to solve this math problem. I want to work it out. I want to solve this math problem. I want to work it out. Number three. I can't recover from this cold. I can't get over it. I can't recover from this cold. I can't get over it. I can't recover from this cold. I can't get over it. I can't recover from this cold. I can't get over it. Number four. I began to play soccer last year. I took it up last year. I began to play soccer last year. I took it up last year. I began to play soccer last year. I took it up last year. I began to play soccer last year. I took it up last year. Number five. I didn't bring my camera. I left it behind. I didn't bring my camera. I left it behind. I didn't bring my camera. I left it behind. I didn't bring my camera. I left it behind. Exercise two. Conversation. Situation. Mrs. Rivers greets her husband when he returns home from work. You look tired, George. Did you have a hard day at the office? Yes, I had to explain some new ideas to the staff. Then I tried out the new computer, but it didn't work right. I'm going to complain to the makers about it. Well, sit down and relax for a while before dinner. Do you want a drink? No, not now, thanks. Do you have a couple of aspirins? I have a bit of a headache. Of course. Just a minute. Why don't you take a day off tomorrow? No, it isn't serious. I'll get over it before then. You look tired, George. Did you have a hard day at the office? Yes, I had to explain some new ideas to the staff. Then I tried out the new computer, but it didn't work right. I'm going to complain to the makers about it. Well, sit down and relax for a while before dinner. Do you want a drink? No, not now, thanks. Do you have a couple of aspirins? I have a bit of a headache. Of course. Just a minute. Why don't you take a day off tomorrow? No, it isn't serious. I'll get over it before then. You look tired, George. Did you have a hard day at the office? Yes. I had to explain some new ideas to the staff. Then I tried out the new computer, but it didn't work right. I'm going to complain to the makers about it. Well, sit down and relax for a while before dinner. Do you want a drink? No, not now, thanks. Do you have a couple of aspirins? I have a bit of a headache. Of course. Just a minute. 
Why don't you take a day off tomorrow? No, it isn't serious. I'll get over it before then. You look tired, George. Did you have a hard day at the office? Yes, I had to explain some new ideas to the staff. Then I tried out the new computer, but it didn't work right. I'm going to complain to the makers about it. Well, sit down and relax for a while before dinner. Do you want a drink? No, not now, thanks. Do you have a couple of aspirins? I have a bit of a headache. Of course. Just a minute. Why don't you take a day off tomorrow? No, it isn't serious. I'll get over it before then. End of worksheet 30. End of side B.